What's up, y'all? This your girl, Drew with the T. If this your first time here on my channel, please be sure to hit that subscribe button. Let's help the channel grow. Okay, y'all. Peach Patch. I want to talk about Peach McIntyre and just wondering what is her next steps because I see sis still getting to her bed, treat, teaching these social media classes. Okay, okay. No shade. Sis, get to your bed. But I've just been waiting to hear from Peach. Have y'all heard from Peach? Because I know she done heard them talking about bending TikTok. Okay, they trying to ban TikTok out the U.S. And I know she teach classes on social media content and how to get a big bag, a big bank. Come on, we need a big bag, a big bank. And I was just wondering, have she talked about in her social media classes for those who took it this week? Um, or have y'all been watching her videos? Has she talked about what is her new method of helping people get money in these classes? Considering the fact that they possibly going to be banning TikTok, what is the strategies here? I'm just curious. What is the new strategies? That'll be a good question. I'm just curious because we can't because I know like a lot of people was getting a bag off TikTok, including Peach McIntyre. She got a big follower on TikTok, and I'm just waiting to hear from Sis to see what is the next step. Um, I just feel like as a whole, this TikTok, if they do ban in the U.S., it's going to be hurting a lot of people pockets because it's a lot of people on TikTok who I have watched quit their nine to five jobs to be a full time, quote unquote, entrepreneur and working from home who solely rely on TikTok to rely on marketing their brands and their products. So I just really wonder what is the next step if they do close TikTok down for a lot of people. I'm just really curious because I feel like TikTok had put a lot of people in a better situation to be independent entrepreneurs, to work for themselves. And I feel like the fact that the app was free, it gave you one step up. Like even in the entertainment world, I feel like when I thought today and I was driving, I'm like, when we go back to, to turn the clock of time. I was like, okay, what was out before social media got big? Because at one point, social media wasn't big. How did entertainers get out there before then? I at least know for the rap industry and hip-hop industry, when I learn about a rapper, it usually be through the radio. You have to have the radio to promote your brand and promote your music. The same thing. And then, of course, TV, traditional TV. So I'm like, if they do get rid of all the social media as a whole, what is we doing? Is we going back to regular TV? which I feel like is outdated. So I, I don't think that's going to last. I think a new app going to come out. That's what I really think. A new app going to come out. And actually, they were saying that if TikTok was willing to sell it to the U.S., they just wanted to monitor the app to make sure that it was safe, that they will consider keeping the app in the U.S. But I don't think the owners of TikTok going to sell that app because they getting a big bag, a big bank. Come on, they got a big bag, a big bank. Come on. They ain't trying to give up that money like that. So they're trying to fight for it, but they banned it. If our if our U.S. um government officials and president, if they banned it as a whole, then yeah, I just wonder what that means. I know I see Saucy Matana, um, he's an entertainer, rap artist. Saucy Matana, I see on um, his page yesterday, he was saying, What about the money and people creators, you know, account? Y'all better get y'all checked before they close the app down is to get closer. You know, they said we got nine months to figure it out. So let's get close. Whoever getting that big bag, big bank, got to get that check, get that last money about those accounts because you want them to close down that app and you ain't get that money. So yeah, I'm just really curious on what's the next step. I'm waiting to hear from Peach. Have y'all heard from Peach? Drop y'all comments below. I'm waiting to hear what's the new strategy if they close down TikTok to get to the check because like i said especially i feel like for rappers um and like influencers to work with brands it really put a lot of people on the map without having to pay for that promotion especially like with those challenges those sound challenges people do your sound and get your music out there um a lot of people was working out their house selling hair products selling hair wigs they was able to ship it through the post office so if you don't have that money for that overhead or to pay for like you know to rent a store or something like that it knocked out the middle man you could ship it right out your house and have your house to be the warehouse you know it, it gave beginner entrepreneurs a chance to really get their business off the ground so that's why i really hate to see the app go if it gotta go but at the same time i know it was some safety issues on the app 
that we all must agree. When I first heard about the app, it was supposed to be a child-friendly app. And then all of a sudden, I saw the entertainers on there. And I decided to join. I said, okay, it's like a adult app, too. Because I be honest with you, I thought it was for the children, too. But then when all the adults came onto the app, and then a lot of entertainers started promoting their music on the app, which was not child-friendly, and it was originally for the kids to do the challenges and the dancers express themselves, and they saw the money they could bring them and how they could promote their brand, I feel like that's when the app really got out of control when it comes to safety and what's to be shown on TikTok, what's not to be shown on TikTok, and the type of things people do to go viral on TikTok. Um, it's, it's no limits. Like, it's no morals. It's no values. It's no integrity. People do whatever to go viral on there. So I feel like that's when it became a safety um, issue when people could see any and everything. Everything was exposed. Um, they want more regulation on the app. And I know a lot of people say, monitor your children, monitor your children. But at the same time, yes, it is ultimately the parents' job to, to monitor their children, especially when I see little young girls twerking and dancing. I can talk about my previous video to Sexy Red, Pound Town, twerk offs at little kid birthday parties. It's unacceptable, parents. It's unacceptable. I don't like seeing things like that. But to be fair about it, all these children got phones, their friends got phones. A lot of these parents is working, especially single mothers, two or three jobs. So the apps alone just not as safe for the children, to be honest, because of the type of stuff that can be put on there. And there's no regulation to a lot of that stuff. Um, it, it, the community violence is very thin. Um, they pick and choose, I notice, who shit they want to take down or who content they want to keep. If you making them enough money, they'll leave your content up. I noticed that if you got enough followers, it don't matter how bad the content it is, how foul the content is, how low budget the content is. You could be on there pretty much selling your soul. They'll leave it on there if you a big content creator. But if you small, you not monetized, they'll put it down. They'll put you in your place for them community guidelines. But I feel like if you a big content creator getting a check on there, they don't really bother them as much in my opinion. But y'all could drop y'all comments below. What do y'all think gonna happen? What's the new bag? My entrepreneurs, what's the new tip out there? Peach McIntyre, hopefully she'll be sharing some tips because she's the big bag of big bank. So hopefully she got some tips to come. Y'all could drop y'all comments below. Is y'all gonna still go to her class? Do y'all believe in the social media um, dream that she's selling? Do y'all think it's still reasonable? Do y'all still think people can get to the bag? Do y'all think it's going to slow down the production? A lot of people know I'm getting all them thousands of dollars no more. Once this closed down, is it worth even buying it to the brand anymore? Like, talk to me. Drop y'all comments below. But it's your girl, Drew, with the T, man. We're going to keep talking about this. We're going to ride it out. If this your first time here, please be sure to hit that subscribe button for more content. Till next time, y'all be safe out there.